What is literature? Who selects the best literary work? And how can we distinguish between good literature and bad literature? Literature.com presents today such interesting items and welcome you all to a new video session. Before entering the topic, if you're a student, I suggest you to collect the notes provided by literature.com and you can get it by the link provided in the description box below. What is literature? It is one of the most difficult questions for both the students and teachers of literature because it is a changing material. What we call literature today may not be the literature tomorrow. First of all, let's discuss very familiar answers for the question what is literature. The first one is literature is a fictional account, but it is not an absolute answer because some writings, some autobiographies and other memoirs and other autobiographical writings are not absolutely fictional but based on reality. The second answer is it is a narration of events. Literature is narration of events but a historical record or journalistic report also can be considered as a narration of events. So, this answer also is not complete as a definition for literature. Then how could it be defined? It is only possible to bring some principles and based on those principles, we can distinguish between bad literature and good literature. That is what is going on. And this formation or the selection of good literature and bad literature is a social process that can be called as canon formation in literature. Before discussing the elements of being canonical, I just mentioned two references of the word canon in literary studies. The first one is the authentic collection of a particular author. For example, Shakespearean canon means the official works of Shakespeare. Chaucerian canon, the authentic works of Geoffrey Chaucer. The second reference is a group of others that have been accepted generally as writers or a group of books that have been accepted as authentic literary works. This is what we are discussing now. Now let's discuss about the elements of the process canon formation. The social elements as a social process really works to make a work or an author to be canonical. The first one is the acceptance of critics and scholars. Concurrence of critics and scholars and other academicians, teachers, uh, students and other academicians is a way to be canonical. Like metaphysical points, they express their quality and their excellence in versification in 17th century using unfamiliar conceits and other poetic devices. But the poems had to wait to be canonical for years and years. In 19th century and in 20th century, critics like T.S. Eliot, Clarence Brooks and F.R. Lewis took the metaphysical poems into reconsideration and their discourses made the poetry canonical. The second most notable element is public acceptance. Public acceptance Besides giving a good readership for the work, it contributes the work and its discussions into the discourses of their communities and their cultural groups. It really helps the work or the other to be canonical. Though some works are there accepted by critics and scholars as good, 
readership or the public acceptance may and may be an obstacle to be canonical so public acceptance is one of the most important elements for making a work canonical thirdly inclusion of a work or an author in curriculum for uh, syllabuses in universities and colleges is the best way to be canonical and these elements are purely social but these social elements are discussing or deciding what is literature today we read some poems today they are not poems to the consideration of a generation or readers 10 or more years ago because their concept on poetry doesn't agree with what these poems give I mean, what is poem? The concept of what is poem or a concept of what is a novel, what is a play are changing during the time. Let me give you a good example for this concurrence or public acceptance or the change in the views or concepts on literature by ages. A best play, a well-renowned play by Samuel Beckett waiting for Godot. If this has been presented before uh, the Elizabethan audience, what will be the result? Surely the Elizabethan audience may not accept waiting for Godot as a good literature because they have no the experience of Second World War. The Elizabethan audience is not an ignorant group about the place and its qualities because they are the audience they witness the real presentations of the Shakespearean plays and gave great applause for them. But they cannot understand the theme, the meaning or the logic of uh, waiting for Godot because they have no the experience of Second World War or they didn't see, they didn't witness what happened after Second World War here. So, based on the experiences, social backgrounds and political uh, experiences of the generations, the concept on poetry, the concept on uh, literature, the concept on play are changing day by day. So, what is literature means what you think literature is today. What I am trying to say is literature means what a generation or a group of people thinks what it is. Canon formation is absolutely a social process and by which an author or a work can be included or excluded of the literary uh, canon or the frame of literature which describes or which defines bad literature and good literature. That is why a writing, a poem written by me or you cannot be published tomorrow in a good magazine because we are just out of literary canon. One more thing we have to discuss or we have to mention here uh, as a part of this discussion is in the history of literature, some kinds of uh, discriminations have been seen based on race or geographical area or gender, some discriminations are there in the history. Even in the 19th century, some female authors like Mary and Evans, Brandy sisters, had to adopt some male pseudonyms to be read and to be published. Means, literary canon of that age couldn't accept the female writers as canonical. The works from female authors, the works from uh, marginalized people or marginalized class of society were simply discriminated out of the canon as out of the canon. So canon formation was always not neutrally or not disinterested. While listening to my lecture or my opinions on literature or on canon formation literature, you may think that is right or this is wrong uh, th there is a chance to be so, so and so. That is your freedom to define what literature is. 
that is the real literature piece. Thank you.